still here for Bison's TV, proudly presented by The Hub. And to my right, I have Bison's fourth year left side, Laura Finley. How are you, how are you doing today, Laura? I'm good. It's a good day. It's nice. It's not too cold. Absolutely. <laughs> Always good. a pleasure in Winnipeg at yeah. this time of year. Uh, I'm, I'm a province recruit, Laura, originally from South Delta Secondary in BC. Uh, how have you enjoyed your Manitoba experience, the four years of cold winters and everything else uh, that you've been here for? It's been good. A bit of an adjustment with the uh, cold weather. Obviously, if it's sunny out, it doesn't always mean it's warm. But no, I've I really enjoy Manitoba, it's, it's great. The people are awesome, super friendly all the time. Uh, I, I personally have found a little bit of a home in Manitoba. Really good to hear. You made the transition from a right side to a left side at the university level, and obviously there are some critical differences there. Maybe just sort of explain the intricacies to those that maybe aren't as familiar with volleyball, yeah. uh, just the adjustments you had to make coming to the university so, level. Coming into university, I was a right side. Uh, right sides don't actually typically pass. So I had no idea how to pass, and never really got taught. Um, I came into the university with an injury and all I could do for the first couple months was just to work on underhand skills. So next thing I knew, a couple months passed and Ken Bentley told me, hey, yeah, you know what, you're left side now. You're gonna be passing all the time. And I've, for the past four years, that's what I've been doing and it's a skill that I've learned to love. You've uh, developed every year that you've been in the program and now you're one of our more important members of the team just in terms of being on the court all the time, being a leader as well. How would you just sort of describe your progression as a player into where you're at now and, and what you see your role as on this team? Uh, I'm definitely a more vocal leader. leader. I'm not as quiet as uh, uh, some people on the team. Uh, I, I choose moments when being loud is going to help the team and then I choose moments where sometimes you just need to set someone aside and just say like, hey, like I really need you right now. Um, but also just like from my first year till now, uh, my first year I was just super excited just kind of get on the court and be able to touch the volleyball and now it's, I'm, I'm jumping higher, I'm able to see more court, I can understand what's actually going on, I can explain uh, what we need to do uh, in order to be better. Uh, so developing not only uh, mentally but physically as well, so that was, that's pretty awesome. We're heading into the bye here, the first half of the season. Uh, what are you looking for just uh, from yourself and maybe from the team for that second half of the women's volleyball season here coming up in January? Uh, second half is going to be uh, pretty sweet, uh, mostly just because we're not actually uh, traveling every single weekend. So it's we're only traveling twice, uh, so it'll be a lot of home games, which is going to be huge, a lot more time for practicing and developing, watching film. Uh, we'll be able to sleep in our own beds, eat our own food, and that's, that's huge for uh, every team out there so that's a bit of an advantage in the second half. Thank you so very much for your time Laura. Thank All the best so in the second half of the year and it's been my pleasure. My pleasure.